<laughs> hey guys, we are here at the Atlanta Convention Center. We are about to enter into the world natural hair show, beauty show, health and body with my Cantu crew. <laughs> All right guys, let's get it. All right, this is day one. Yes, day one of the madness. You guys, if you have not partaken in the World Natural Hair Show in Atlanta, you need to do this before, you know, you leave this earth. It is amazing. The energy is crazy and it's all around healthy body, blackness. It's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling and it's a great environment. So that was day one. These are some snapshots of me and my models and a couple of my blogger boos. And now we're entering into day two. Yes, two days. They're taking us back to the motherland here. As you guys can see, I'm scurrying through. It is a million vendors in here, and the Cantu booth is popping. Hey guys, me and Alyssa are here. So here are some snapshots of my two models. I did one updo on this young lady, and then I did Bantu Not Out on this young lady, and they were a mother-daughter duo. As soon as I was done with that, I literally had to go hop in my car and catch this flight out to LA. And look who I saw as soon as I pulled into my hotel. Yes, that was Dave Chappelle. So here's a quick room tour of this amazing boutique hotel I stayed in. Everything was super plush, and we stayed at the Sunset Towers. If you guys are out in LA, Make sure you check this place out. It's amazing. The restaurant in the hotel is amazing. And I'm off to bed because I have an early morning. Good morning, guys. I am about to go on set. I'm here in LA. It's so beautiful. And it's super early here, but I'm used to East Coast time, so it's like late for me, but I'm taking it all in. Should be an exciting day. And we're off, but first, why does everyone try to steal my Patricia Nash set bag? Anyway, peep the Hollywood sign in the background, and we are about to enter into the world of Cantu. I won't be able to show you guys too much, but I'll give you a little bit behind the scenes and the fun stuff that goes on at an all-day photo shoot. And you know you're on a great shoot when the food looks like this. Take it all in, guys. And that's a wrap, folks. We are done for the day. Your girl then put in her work behind the scenes. And the next morning, I was literally on a plane back to Knoxville. I landed in Knoxville for two days, and I was back in the friendly skies on my way to no other place than New York City. Now this weekend is going to be amazing and crazy. It is so much to share with you guys. But Cantu brought all of us influencers and their blogger booze out to New York for a little bit of orientation and good times. All right guys, so <clears throat> finally in my room. And when I tell you this room is stupid dope, this room is so dope. Like I love coming to boutique hotels in New York. This is probably, the last one I stayed in was really dope, but this one is like really edgy dope. So I'm gonna give you a tour. Okay, so when you walk in, it triggers the lights to automatically come on. This is the bathroom. Look at this shower curtain, you guys. It's like armor. That's a chain. All of this is smoke glass. So that light you're seeing through there, that's the room. Towel rack, tiled mosaic walls, me, toilet, and they have a mirror. How dope is this? I love when they have extra mirrors. You can do your makeup good. Heavy smoked glass. Say hi, Lisa. Hi, boo. Hello. Lisa's hanging out with me for tonight. And then how dope is this backdrop to this bed? Super cute room. Look at this circle seat, window seat. How cute. Remember I was, well, I snapped this earlier. I have to show you. That's the pool. You guys see those holes? Well, you can see that in the lobby. You actually can see the pool. So if people are swimming in it, you can see them in the lobby. Whenever I travel to large cities and I have 
any amount of downtime, I tried to link up with some of my other creative friends and this trip was no different. I hooked up with my homie, Black.NewYork. And uh, yes, we did some amazing shooting around the city and had a blast. So Black brought us to Donut Planet, New York. About to go in here and see what they talking about. Get us some of these donuts. Even though I need some food. So Black, this the donuts you raving about? These donuts are serious. Oh, they're big. Yeah, I told you. The real donuts. I see. I really want some fried chicken, but I'll go ahead and eat these donuts. Does it have bacon on them? No bacon? No bacon donuts. Actually. On top of shooting around New York City, we also did a little bit of studio shooting, and I'll show you a couple of those pictures here as well. All right, guys, so photo shoot is over. Now I'm headed over to Tao to go to the, I guess, like, cocktail hour and appetizers, hang out with the Cantu crew. You guys, this hotel is so stupid dope. Like, seriously. It's so dope. So they had us staying at Dream Hotel downtown, which is literally next door to Tao. So I just walked over next door and I caught up with all of my Cantu crew booze. Everybody say hi. We ended the night on great conversation, great food, and great drinks. There's nothing better than that. And there's nothing better than being honored by a company that loves and appreciates you. So thank you, Cantu. We're headed to the fitness class. All ready to go work out. I think we're doing dance. We are African dance. It's gonna be so fun. Nothing excites me more than embarking on African dance and it's our workout. You guys, I had no idea what I was about to get myself into, but this is truly a workout. We're going for a Don't worry about um, you not having any African dance experience. Today you're African girls. Okay, Yay. so um, just a couple things. You want to always move your head with your arms. So if my head goes this way, my, my arms go this way, my head goes this way. If my arms go down, my head goes down. You want to keep your knees slightly bent so you're always ready to move at all times. And then you just want to have fun. Don't take yourself too seriously. This is a fun time. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to warm up in um, Rwanda. <laughs> So Lexi, with the curls, created Curly and Fit, and she partnered up with Cantu, and they brought us all in, and it was such an amazing treat. I wish I could have shown you the whole class. I literally was drenched in sweat. It was the best workout ever. Cantu was my first natural hair love. My very first video on YouTube way back in the day was with Cantu, so I've been using Cantu forever. So I thought it was great to partner with them. Yeah. And so we're doing a kickoff here in New York. So after the dance class is perfect, it's like 
you're having fun, so it doesn't even seem like you're working out, if you're sweating, you're having fun, so that's what it's about. So I just wanted to provide some different classes so people can work out, have fun, and sweat, and everybody's hair still looks fabulous after sweating. So, you know. <laughs> so thank you so much, thank you, K2, thank you for everybody for coming. Thank you for having us. You use buns and wear a scarf. Tying your hair down while you're working out is going to keep your hair in the same state that it was in prior to tying it down. So put your edge gel control on, put your scarf on, sweat it out, cool off completely. Allow your hair and your edges to dry back as they were. Remove your scarf and it's just like you woke up. There is no excuse for us not to be out here getting it together 100%. So let's get curly and fit. Every day we work out in the morning, then we do cultural stuff at, during the day, and then we hang out at night. So it's a different country each year. Um, we're doing Tanzania and Ghana this year. Next year we're doing South Africa and Senegal and Gambia. But every year we choose different countries. So you guys can learn more about Africa. Fitness, dance, culture, everything. So I really appreciate you guys coming today. Cantu, Curly Fit, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you for that amazing sweat. <laughs> So, love you all, and um, please reach out to me, follow me on Instagram, I'm always giving fit tips, dance tips, health tips, anything to do with health, fitness, dance, or travel, I'm here. All right. All right. All right, guys, so we are on our way like this. It's not a game. We are on our way to our orientation, lunch, and then we have a fun planned evening. Say hi, Lex. Hey. Say hi, Demetria. Hello. Cabinet, New York style. Okay. It was such a beautiful day in New York that day. I mean, the sun was bright, so I thought I'll, you know, give you a little bit of what I wore. Here's my look of the day. And you know you can't take a group of bloggers anywhere without it being a photo shoot all the time. All right, so now we're getting ready to go in and start our lunch, and then we're about to have orientation. And you guys, this venue was exquisite. If I lived in New York, I definitely would be trying to get some time here to do some shoots. Every room, every part of this was highly designed. It's just a nod to amazing artists. This space was just amazing. The information was amazing. The lunch was amazing. Everything about this was so well put together. It was just such a great experience. Seriously, I almost fell over when I saw these amazing Polaroids. How cute of them to print out our images and put them on little Polaroids. like. I stole as many of them as I could. I have them hanging up in my house right now. It was so amazing. And literally, we got so many amazing goodies. They brought in a makeup artist. We got makeup. We had Mexican food. It was just a whirlwind. And it was just a lot. And it was fun. And it tastes good. You guys see this plate? Yes, I hooked that up, didn't I? And of course, I had to give me a little swig of lemonade. So after orientation and lunch was all complete, we had lunch and then we had, you know, a few hours of orientation. We headed over to dinner at Beauty and Essex. And you guys, if you're in New York, I'm gonna say this throughout this video, make sure you stop here. This place is so eclectic on this like, like lobby area. And you're gonna walk through that next door and it's just like, walking into a movie scene but the coolest thing that i would have to take away from beauty and essex is in the ladies room yes the coolest thing besides the amazing food okay i won't say the coolest thing but they serve you bubbly not bubble guts but champagne in the bathroom that's definitely only a new york thing but take in this spread how amazing we had a private little area and look who showed up hey big chopped hair when I tell you guys, they were not playing about feeding us. Yes, 10 courses, 10. Mm -hmm. And we ended the evening with a hot chocolate shot. A shot of actual hot chocolate. It was actually pretty good, you guys. I wish I had one right now. After we left Beauty and Essex, we went back over to our hotel and we partied the night away. And here we are wrapping up our amazing weekend at Miss Lily's. It's a Jamaican-based restaurant. 
you guys, this place is so amazing. The energy is like on 5,000 in here. The atmosphere, the decorum, everything was just so remnants of Jamaica. It was so bittersweet because this was our last meal together, but it was an exceptional meal that just put a cap on an amazing weekend. So thank you, Cantu. I hope you guys enjoyed this recap, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.